What's going on, my Sith friends? Darth Kimchi here. So we're back with another roster review. And on tonight's show, we've got Bored W. Explain that W. All right. And I like that guild name. Big ol' fist bump to everyone in 212th Sky Corps. That's awesome. All right. So I see he's hit that Kyber Club. So right off the bat, fist bump, bro. Good job. He's getting his feats done and he's getting as many full clears. And what's also cool is he's also in Division 10. We just did Tally's um, roster, and he's also in Division 10. So pretty cool. Maybe they face each other. We'll take a look at his roster and see if he does. So uh, let's just pause for a moment. So uh, you see the twitchy thing right here. I don't understand it. Um, I tried to go live and do a gift card um, winners kind of thing. I'm down to the last five. And I'm going to pick three out of that. So i got to do some more YouTube research, and I'm going to put myself in the corner with no background. i got to figure that out. All right, anyways, let's keep going. So let's take a look at his fleet first. Okay, so I see what he's starting off with. I always thought that would be amazing. Hound's Tooth with Imperial Tide Bomber and Anakin, that's deadly. Rank number three. In Division 10 with only 1.1 million galactic power. That is awesome. So let's take a look at his capital ships first. All right, great job, Negotiator, at 1.1 million galactic power. That's crazy. Good job with your guild currency. I was all over the place with it. I should have got Negotiator a long, long time ago as well. I should have it at seven stars. Mine's only five stars. So good job, buddy. Um, to get Fleet Arena payout in top three, uh, you're getting some good crystals there. So great job. Remember in Division 7, you have to have four fleets. But I talked about in Tally's Review the way to dominate. And I'll go over that through your roster. Okay, so take a look at those ships. Hound's Tooth, amazing. So, look, okay, look at this uh, this TIE Bomber. I highly recommend the Imperial TIE Bomber. Um, late farming it. I'm working on it now. He has it seven stars. Mine's only five stars. Amazing job. Any ship that doesn't require a tune to have to gear in Relic, to me, is amazing. Look at the health and protection on this thing. Almost 200,000. That's crazy. Now let's go look at Bosk. Bosk, you had to get him. You had to relic him. I have him too relic And almost about the same. That's crazy. So definitely, if you're coming up, start farming these ships. This bacon lettuce tomato Y wing right here. Um, definitely. Look at it at five stars. Almost a hundred thousand. Very nice. I'm farming all the uh, the rebel ship, the BTLB Y wing. The Imperial Tire Bomber, great job. Uh, Anakin snips, very nice. The ships hit really hard. You have the bugs, good job. So you definitely have um, two two fleets, you know, two little fleets. Uh, I would try to make them a little stronger because the way to dominate, you could just have two fleets. You don't need four. All right, great job there, man. Good job. Rank number three, that's awesome. All right, let's take a look at this roster. So you got Darth Revan. Hope you didn't lower the speed. I know we talked about that. You got Vader, uh, Bastion Sean Fallen. She's awesome. Malik and Watt. Let's get in here. Wow, 1.1 million galactic power, and you already have Darth Revan, Jedi Knight Revan, Darth Vader as your top three tunes. Very good job. You're doing very well. So I don't think you would face Tally because Tally only has two relics. So it's even matchmaking, so I don't think y'all would ever face each other. But, you know, look out for that. That'd be pretty cool if y'all did face each other. So right now with the nerfs in the game, it is so important with who you relic and who you don't relic. All right, so let's take a look at this Vader. I'm excited. I love Darth Vader. All right, ooh, speed and health. So I haven't thought about experimenting with speed because I run with speed. Thrawn and Moff Gideon, let's take a look at this Vader. Health, protection, what? Wow, I had to take my blue blockers off just to make sure that was correct. 302 speed Vader, wow man, double fist bump. <laughs> That's definitely the fastest Vader we've ever had on the show so far. That's awesome. A fast Vader is deadly. Um, he's at 318 right now, solo. So this Vader is soloing my bugs if his potency is high. Let's take a look at that potency. 84%. So I've done some practicing in squad arena that an 80% Vader can't apply dots to my um, Brute Alpha. I'm trying to get enough of them to kind of put them together in one video to show at different levels of potency. So very nice. 84% is very good. That's great. 
All right, let's take a look at critical chance, 60%. He gets 25% from his Merciless, so definitely you're over 80%. So good job there. Wow, that's speed. Man, that's, this is a deadly Vader right here. So I know you're soloing in Division 10. Uh, let me know if you are bored, what you are soloing. You know, there's not much this Vader cannot solo. To make it fun, I would just put in Wat Tambor. You know, they're like, uh, they're like best buddies. So I like to run them two together. So wow. <laughs> I always preach you have to have your brood alpha at least 275 speed to not, to not get soloed by a Vader. Well, this Vader is soloing everyone's Geos. So good job there, man. All right, Darth Revan, hope you didn't lower the speed. Speed, potency. Boom time right there. 350 speed Darth Revan. So this is definitely the fastest Darth Revan that I have ever seen. So I talked about a lot of my videos coming up that your Rex cannot be slower than 291. Because at 291 speed and 5B5, that's 349. I've never seen a um, fast I've seen was 348 Darth Revan. So that's why I always say 291 to get faster than Darth Revan in 5v5. In 3v3, this Darth Revan is deadly. Like your Rex would have to be, what, 3, 314 speed? Let me see. My math is terrible. 314 plus 20%. Let's see, 3, 4, no, plus, plus 12, excuse me. <laughs> yes. So your Rex would have to be 314 speed in 3v3 to take out this Darth Revan squad. So be careful with that. You got to pay attention to Darth Revan's speed. This is like a unicorn. This is, I said, I've never seen a Darth Revan in Division 7 at 350 speed. This is a deadly Darth Revan. So if you have a gas squad, it is not getting through this Darth Revan unless you have 314 speed on your Rex. That is the last time and only time I've lost to Darth Revans is they've gone before Rex. All right, very nice there, man. Let's take a look at these mods. Offense, crit chance, protection, speed, ah, nasty. 25 speed, that's crazy. Um, 27 here, that's probably one of the fastest mods I've seen. 27 speed, wow. Anyone have a faster secondary at more than 27? That's just ridiculous, man. Bastard. <laughs> totally joking, but oh wow. 24 speed, that's crazy. Man, good job with your maxing out your speeds, man. Might not be like defense or something terrible get maxed out. Gee, all these speeds are maxed out. That's crazy. Wow, 26. 25. Wow. Of course, 32 here, but I want to see the secondaries. Offense, potency. Wow. Do a turn, Darth Revan. <laughs> That's a good one. Great job, Darth Revan. In Division 7, faster Darth Revan's dominate. I know, um, good buddy Justin, in higher up divisions, you probably don't need such a fast Darth Revan. But coming up, speed. You, you, you got to get him fast. Nothing else matters but speed. If he can get out first, your team's going to lose. So if he's not over 300 speed, you're going to get taken out by, by bounty hunters. My bounty hunters will take you out. So this Darth Revan is deadly. All right, Jedi Knight Revan. Let's see. Okay, modded for speed, health. Very good job. Let's take a look at health protection. Respectable. He's squishy. Speed, 295. Amazing. So this uh, Jedi Knight Revan is definitely way over 300 speed. Um, great job with the speed there. You got to have... a JKR squad over 300 speed. It's an amazing team. It's taking out whatever your opponents, you know, not counting GLs, of course. Probably second or third best team easily. He does special damage, 6,600. That's decent. You know, I'm not using him for damage either. I want him to survive. Okay. Offense. I think I have survivability on, on the circle and the cross. Off. And you have a lot of offense on him. Speed. Wow, a lot of, I mean, of course that was offense, but um, only thing I would say in Jedi Knight Revan, you also don't have to go higher on, on Relic 2. I think a Relic 2 JKR is still taking out whatever's out there, you know. Um, 
people who are coming up that are watching these roster reviews, you don't have to relic everyone. So just having a relic Bosk makes your bounty hunters viable. Just having a relic JKR makes your JKR squad viable. Um, you don't have to go higher than relic two. He's really good. They're so quick, they're going to take out people quickly. I see why you have the offense on him because he is only Relic 2, but I have survivability on him in Division 7. All right, so next up is Bosk. Boss is awesome. If you're going to build a Bounty Hunter squad, I'm telling you, or a Sing lead. I think now with the, the GL nerfing where our GL can only take out a GL, it's going to cause people like me and maybe a lot of people to put really good teams on offense so they can't clear them. And it's going to come down to like... You know, B squads, like an or fast or sing team to just take out relic squads. Amazing. All right, let's take a look here. 262, how we have him on? Tenacity. Ooh, very nice. 130%. So uh, I know he gets tenacity from his kit, right? Where is it at? Okay. Yes. 50% tenacity. So, wow, this this boss is annoying. So, last time I've ever lost a Bounty Hunter, Bounty Hunter uh, mirror match, of course, I didn't have Aura Singh at the time, was the boss was like 150% tenacity without the boost from his kit. So, I couldn't do anything. Couldn't um, ability block him, stun him, nothing like that. So, my Boba Fett, my Jango Fett got taken out. They revived, of course, but they lost Bounty Hunter's Resolve, and I couldn't get around the taunt. It was terrible. It was so annoying. What you got here? Tenacity, very nice. And so this is a pretty annoying boss. You know, you're not really running for speed. You're probably just using him to be annoying to taunt uh, with that high tenacity like that. Ooh, very nice. Almost 200% tenacity boss. That's nasty. All right, let's go on from there. So you got Jedi Knight Anakin. Good job. Create damage, create chance. Very nice. He's just like Vader. Only four things. Speed, offense, crit chance, potency. All right. Respectable health protection. Speed, 2C4. That's, that's decent. That's good. Potency, very nice. 90%. Very nice. So you're not getting soloed by any nest that's out there. Good job. That's very nice. It's probably overkill, but very good job. 76% critical chance. Good job there, too. Damage. Yeah, critical damage here. Nice. Okay, potency, good job. You know, this Anakin could get stronger. You know, once you six dot this one right here, uh, he's going to be pretty good. I'd uh, said this is a really good mod right here. Wow. Can't wait to six dot this and definitely screenshot it, send it to the Discord. Make sure you guys join the Knights of Kimchi. Um, I have a Discord in the in the description. This is a really good mod. Offense, potency, crit chance, all percentages over 1%. Nice. That could be nasty. All right. Bassless Sean Fallen. Wow. I like her. She's super amazing. She's, I, would say, I was going to say super fast, but mine's not very fast. Ooh, 320. Wow, that's nasty. That's quick. You know, you would think just putting four speed mods on Bassless Sean makes her quick. No, you got to have some good secondary. So, wow. Potency, 86%. That's great. You wanted to inflict debuffs. Very nice. Look at these speed mods. 25. Wow, you got some good speed secondaries. 17. 24. 24. Offense, defense. Health, 25. Dang, wow, another 27 speed. Let's see the secondaries here. Ooh, that defense. That defense was the offense. Ooh, that'd be amazing. All right. Okay, so Geo Spy. So like I said, guys, you don't have to relic everyone on the squad. A uh, Geo Spy is amazing to have relic. Uh, you would just probably just want to have Brood Alpha as well. But Spy, that's great. You know, hits really hard. Uh, tenacity. Hmm. Why the tenacity? Uh, you want him to be able to use his one-shot ability, I, I'm, I'm thinking. 288 is pretty fast. Geo Spy. Okay. Offense. I would do crit damage. Um, but then again, I mean, no. I, I, I always say four crit damage, two crit chance. You know, he's your damage dealer. He's going to crit on his big hit. 
like this silent strike it's gonna be a crit hit if you have enough crit chance so i want it to hit really hard i want a one shot and they go pretty quickly with all the turn meter they get so i don't think you'd have to put sp uh, speed but uh, you definitely want crit damage here 42 percent crit damage is better than 88 percent offense max this one out we'll get rid of that it's four Ooh, ah, that's nasty these are those mods that are hard to get away from. A four dot mod, that 19 speed in the secondary. Wow, you're gonna be using that for a while. You're never gonna sell that. That's great. That's a good mod. Okay, speed. Tenacity, good. I always want to have a lot of tenacity on the on the bugs because they all assist with each other. So good job with the tenacity. 103%. Oh, that's really nice. So you definitely don't want this spy to be debuffed, ability blocked, nothing like that. So this Spy is great with the tenacity. He's definitely able to use Silent Strike. He's, he's getting able to go, take turns. Good job. All right, Darth Malik. Ooh, tenacity. I know a high tenacity Malik is dangerous. Ooh, it's dirty. 156%. So you, it's going to be very hard to apply dots to this Darth Malik. That's why I, like I switched my potency. I have a potency set. My potency is now 107%. I might want to try to see if I can apply some dots to Darth Malak in Squad Arena. I'll practice with that too. 156%. That's amazing. Good job. You know, if you can't apply dots to Darth Malak, it'd be very hard for Vader to, to one shot him with the cooling blade. So great job there. All right, you got Brood Alpha right here. So, Brood Alpha, I would say, I know you're. Let's see, what's his stats? Speed and tenacity. Great job. Ooh, 240. So your Vader is swiping out your Brood Alpha really quickly. Um, I would try to get his speed up a little higher. Tenacity, great job. He gets a boost from his kit, so that's good. Uh, you want to have at least starting off in low less than 70%. I would say try to get as high as you can. As much speed and tenacity as you can get. Like I said, you, know, you don't want Vader to solo your bugs. You don't want Vader to at least pull at least two or three more tunes. Um, so definitely just speed. Speed and tenacity. But good job. You know, Brood Alpha is good enough. All right, Emphis Nest, very nice. I highly recommend Emphis Nest. What the heck is going on here with this little twitchy thing? All right, let's get rid of that. Put it over here. All right, so Emphis Nest, you got to go all tenacity. She needs as much as you can get. Those health, swap them out for tenacity. I know this is tenacity, very nice, because you're at 112%. So she doesn't get any tenacity from her relic, which is terrible. So mine's at 167% tenacity, and she still gets debuffed. If Law Gray's potency is at at least 75 to 80%, she's he's gonna be able to apply the days to your nest. So tenacity's got to be high. You know there are people in my guild with 170% tenacity nest that can solo Padme squads. So that was you just gotta get that higher. Just swap out the health for tenacity set. You'll get higher there. Tenacity through your secondaries. Tenacity there. You'll keep the tenacity mod. Two point tenacity. Two percent. Very nice. Ooh, three percent tenacity there. Chance to go even higher. Crit damage, very nice. Critical avoidance, very nice here as well. Four speed. I that speed. Oh, she doesn't really need speed. She does counter. I do have the Zeta on mine. That way she can get around taunts. So very nice nest. Good job, buddy. In Division 7, you're going to be using her. So there's a lot of garbage. You know, I think now, I don't know how it's going to work now with people with GLs. And, so you definitely got to get a GL. So sorry, you know, um, I just get into the roster views and don't, you know, ask questions when I forget to. Um, there's no script. I just go off of emotion. So board, let us know. What GL are you going for? And let's talk about that road to domination. So... There's two roads. You can have two Galactic Legends in Trash Fleet in the core teams, of course, or one Galactic Legend in two Amazing Fleets in the core teams, and you'll dominate. That's what is dominating right now in Division 7. I'm going to show that when the rounds end, and you'll see, you guys. So, good job with the Darth Revan. You know, you got to have seven good teams to full clear, and not really seven, you know, well. Let's just say seven. Darth Vader's one. Darth Revan two. JKR three. You got uh you could get a good war sting team. You got four. You're, you're almost there, so good job. All right, let's keep going with that roster. So your next relics, you know, be careful. You know, you'll start facing Galactic Legends when you have at least, I would say, fifteen relics. Fifty somewhere between fifteen and twenty relics is where you're gonna start seeing seeing your first Galactic Legend on defense. 
All right, so next relic for JKR squad, I would say Jolie Bindu. Uh, if he goes down, your team goes down. You know, Grandmaster Shiro is your damage dealer, but Jolie is, you got to have him relic to protect the team. Okay, so you got to get your JKR squad. Um, got your JKR squad. Okay, so sorry, it's at nighttime. I can't talk right. So Galactic Legends aside, you got to have your core teams of gas. You know, you could do it. You're at 1.1 galactic million galactic power. If you control that, don't relic or use anyone. You could have Darth Revan, Darth Malik, Gas, JKR, Padme Squad, a Vader Squad, and then your Galactic Legend, that's your seven right there. You would dominate and win every single round. I'm telling you, all you would set on defense is everything else that you've kind of um, geared up to get to what you need to get these other tunes. I'm telling you, bored. Um, you, you're going to dominate, I'm telling you. All right. Grandmaster Yoda, very nice. You got HK. So you got the tunes that are that you're going to need for your core teams. Ooh, that mission in Zao, gear 12. Oof. I don't think you had to do that, but, you know, I know that was probably to get Darth Revan, Darth Malik. Bastard Sean, good job. Ooh, you got Padme. Good job, man. You've got the core. Oh, I see that General Kenobi. Wow. So you're building an amazing roster. You know, Plo Koon, you don't have to relic. You know, you don't have to gear 12. His ship, you're just going to use it off the bench. You got a good um, tank and set Sith Empire Trooper. Watt Tambor, awesome. Four stars, amazing. Wow, so I'm not seeing too much garbage, too much um, experimenting. So I said stick to the journey that I'm telling you. You don't need Night Sisters. You don't need, uh, you know, any experimental teams that don't lead to a Galactic Legend. Don't do it. You should build viable teams around prerequisites and get your core teams like you have here. Oh, I'm telling you, man, you're doing a really good job. Everyone has to have bugs. You need bugs to get Watt Tambor. See, I don't see anything experimental. I see great tunes. Han Solo's amazing. Wow. Okay. You've activated them, but you haven't worked on them. Ooh, you got a level 69 cup. That's awesome. <laughs> I activated him to make a TikTok video. That's cool. I'm telling you, next year when it makes a Galactic Republic swing, he's going to be needed to get, you know, some, you know, Galactic Legend Mace Windu or something that comes out. He's going to be needed. Watch at like Relic 7. Okay, see that Rex? Good job. Get your Rex really fast. You already know that because you're Darth Revan. Wow. Very nice. You haven't worked on anyone else. Let's go back to the top. All right, how much time have we used? 22 minutes, all right, let's do just an overview board. So like I said, amazing roster. You haven't relic anyone that's garbage. You know, Spy, great job. That's to one shot and get through your, your Watt Tambor event. Um, just having that relic Watt causes your opponent to use a really good gear 12 team at least, but just raise the speed on your Brood Alpha. Your, the speed, Tenacity's fine. Just get more speed on him would make them even deadlier. And then you got Nest telling if you... You could relic Ness. You know, you're not going to face any Galactic Legends yet, but just to have one tune, I'm telling you, if you're not using her already, to come up. So you already have her seven stars. That's awesome. If you have her relic in Division 9, 8, you will use her every single round. Easy banners. Just get her tenacity up higher. So amazing the way that the, the roster you have so far. Um, you've paid attention to videos out there. You're not doing anything you're not supposed to. Um, Mission and Zal, you can probably put them on defense. They're probably doing pretty well. They're a pretty good duo. You know, just get up your core teams. Your Padme squad. You know, you already got the good teams. I'm telling you, I, I love seeing rosters like this because I know I would be afraid of your roster by the time you reached my division. Remember, two journeys, two Galactic Legends, Trash Fleet in the core teams, or one Galactic Legend, two amazing fleets in the core teams, and you are going to dominate, board. Great job. If you guys enjoy these roster reviews, make sure you blast the like button. We're trying to grow the channel. And then also um, tell your guild. And then, of course, we got more roster reviews to come. I've got trying to go something live tomorrow to put out the winners. If not, I'll do something. But until that time, Darth Kimchi signing out.